Welcome back, my friends. Today, we're going to create this beautiful portrait of a man and woman on their wedding day with some photos in the back. And we're going to use a blurring technique that is very, very easy to use. So stay tuned. All right. So thanks for joining me today. And I have a, a workspace ready for us to use. It is a size of 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. So I'm going to go over to elements and I'm going to go into my recently used and I'm going to see if I can find those photos that I used for my design. So I'll scroll down and this was one of the photos that I used. Um, I also used this one and I used this one. Now you can use any combination of um, photos that you have. So what I'll do is I'll just minimize this one for now and I'll just put that over there. And now I'll take these two photos and I'm gonna go over to my apps and I'm gonna search for an app called Reflections. It's actually Easy Reflections. Here it is right here. And this is the app right here. It's got a um, runner on it and it's called Easy Reflections. Now, before we continue, I just want to let you know that I have opened up my YouTube channel memberships and every week I go live and I design with my adult learners at where they get an opportunity to ask questions as I'm designing with them or they actually design with me too with their Canva and they ask questions. It's an interactive session. If you're interested, click that join button. There is a membership level for everyone and join and you can have fun with me designing. All right, let's carry on. So I'm now that I've got this image here selected, I'm going to say create reflection. And there are a couple of different options. We can create the reflection below. We have above, we have left and we have right. Now, because I want to blend these two photos together, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use this one here and I'm just going to toggle the offset of the that transparency and the opacity. So I'll just make it a little bit more opaque or more transparent and I'll leave it like that and I'll add this to my design. Okay, so here is that right there. So I'm just going to, going to minimize this. I probably don't need it anymore, but I'm just going to keep it there and I'll keep that reflection right there. I'm going to do the same for this one. So I've got it selected and I'm going to go back and I'm going to say create reflection again. And I want the reflection to appear on the right side or on the left side because I want to be able to connect these two photos together in the middle where it's lighter, um, if that makes sense. So uh, I think I will leave it like that and I'll just say add to design. Okay, and there that is right now. So you know what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to get rid of those photos and I'm just going to arrange these two here. And I'll place this one over here as well. And I'll put that here like that. And I'm just going to move this one over a little bit like this. And you know what? We can make this one larger too. So you see in the middle there, it's kind of blending very, very nicely. Okay, I'm going to grab my photo that's down below there. So I'll go to position and I'll go to layers and I'm just going to grab that and bring that to the top. And I'm just going to position that right here. And now I'm just going to make that a little bit larger. Like so. And I'm going to remove the background on this image. 
and here we have it right here. And now what I'm going to do is to just add a little bit of shadow is I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to go into shadows and I'm going to add a glow to the uh, image where the background's been removed. And I'm just going to bring that down that way we're not seeing that um, line there. And I'll just put that like this. And now you can leave this photo um, as it is like this, or you can apply an, um, a color to the background and have it come through those images. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to positions and this is 100% optional. You tell me which one you liked better. Do you like it better plain? Do you like it better with a tinted background? Um, what do you think? Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think uh, of this blending technique and applying that uh, little bit of tint in the background. So I've got my background selected and I'm going to go to colors and I'm going to add a yellow tint in behind like that. And now uh, if we want, we can also add a message in here as well. So that is about it. I hope that you enjoyed this quick video on easy photo blending. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and check out my YouTube channel memberships and join. There's again, there is a level for everyone and you get to design with me live and learn Canva tips and tricks. Okay, bye for now.